Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to episode two of the Yet to Be Named podcast. That might just be the name of it, uh, Go Day. Hey, yet to be Yet named. to Be Named podcast. Uh, Maybe we'll figure something. Out. <laughs> As you know, we start this idea. Uh, the inspiration was WandaVision. I think me and you both enjoy the show. Yeah. Uh, so, and we've really kind of we. We've really kind of gotten invested with the characters, man. Between yeah. Monica, the newest mutant in the uh, MCU, uh, can we use the word mutant now with the whole with the whole Fox and X Men? Uh, I think they own the rights to it, but it ain't nothing official came out yet, you know. Okay, because you remember the, the thing about Quicksilver and uh, Wanda to begin with, where you couldn't call them mutants, right? You had to call them like enhanced or the yeah. miracles. Yeah. <laughs> Some weird yeah. German thing. I don't know, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh hey man, uh it was Agatha all along. Who right. knew? Uh man, so, I was like you, right? Like I'm sitting back, like, I'm thinking my mind was so set on Mephisto the whole time. Even <laughs> after I knew it was Agatha or Agnes, right. even if I knew it was Agnes after she came and got Wanda away from Monica. I knew it was Agnes at that point, but when when Wanda goes down into the into like the basement and it's like all evil looking, and you got that demon looking book. I was like, oh no, it's Mephisto disguised as Agnes. You know, so I'm still thinking Mephisto. <laughs> Man, I'm like, no, it's a demon funny. book. Dang. Hey, I was like, that's a that's a demon book. That's still Mephisto. That's still Mephisto. That, that I, is a demon book. Yeah. That's what I thought. I was like, that's a demon's book. That's a demon's that's a demon's basement. Look at the basement. Right. He, who put the trees in their basement? Demons do. So I was I was locked in on Mephisto, and I was wrong. It's some character by the name of Agatha Harkness. And that's a name that I heard before. I just when you don't know a character and you're not invested in that character at all, it kind of like went over my head. Right. I heard I read about the character, you know, being a possible foil in this in this in this show, but no, it went right over my head, but I was highly entertained. Right. Yeah, so I figured she played a bigger role because she was one of the more prominent characters within uh, Wanda's Hex that's going on there. She's yeah. like the one constant that kept popping up besides her mm-hmm. vision. Um, even, uh, I forget the, the the neighbor, the black dude who was chopping up his Herb. wall. Herb. Uh, Herb. Brother, yeah. brother Herb. I'm like, man, Agnes, she's like in every episode i think yeah um, she has been so i figured she played a bigger role i wasn't expecting this yeah um, i definitely ain't expected to kill sparky i mean i don't know what that was about <laughs> she I mean, killed sparky too maybe she's just bad to the bone but yeah once once monica uh, monica showed up with her growing powers and agnes saw that and and then she took uh one inside and the kids were gone i was like yeah oh. Hey, uh, that's oh, what happened to them kids. I right. where the kids at? I gotta know. Right, they they in that basement somewhere. She see, so I don't think so. Going over the song that I I think it more pointed towards that Agnes Agatha was messing things up all along. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily think she's main cause of everything. Still, mm-hmm. I don't think she mm-hmm. created the hex. For okay. and all that. Okay. I think she just, I don't know, she happened by or she sensed the magical energy. It's like, oh, what can I get into with this? And then yeah. she just started having fun. I don't think she's the architect behind everything. Maybe your boy Mephisto is going to show up. You know? Maybe I'll get my main man Mephisto because I'm like, it's Mephisto, man. It's right. Mephisto. Trust me because it is da 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 and then they throw me a curveball, but they probably all set this up for a bigger reveal. This is, we do have two episodes left. Right. So chances are there'll be another big reveal that throw us all for a loop. And I, I it'll leave me on the floor. I, I, I and, hope so. There's so many characters they can bring in for all kinds of different reasons. Um, I mean, you know, bringing in a witch is a nice touch. Uh, yeah. But- I yeah. think a lot of fans wouldn't mind seeing something connected to uh, Fantastic Four or something yep. more set in stone saying, hey, yeah, mutants are a thing like uh, yeah. her father or, well, you know, Magneto. I don't think it's yeah. 
in this universe. Yeah, I don't think in this universe Magneto's gonna be a thing. Yeah, yeah I don't think so. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty out of place for him to just pop up. Uh, yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. Monica's getting her powers. Um, I got to see uh, old girl in the. Uh, <laughs> you no, know, I'm just saying. Making you can't see it. Making you everything can't see it smiling. Just right. Um, Darcy. I call her Miss Darcy. Miss I call Darcy. her Miss Darcy. You're, hey, when you're that thick, you get to be, you put the miss in front of your name, goddamn it. <laughs> miss Darcy. Right. It's, a, it's, it's Miss Rambo. Miss, Miss, Miss Monica. Right. Yeah. I, hey, listen, I put on my Facebook the other day. I was like, guess what other barrier that these two young ladies have broke for characters and stories? <laughs> and I think you liked it. You liked it. I mean, you know. hey, me and you, we was like this. We knew, <laughs> hey, you knew what I was saying. I mean, you know, they, 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 met, they broke many barriers and are very proud. Thick, listen, thick ass women in movies and TV shows. I love it. Woo! I'm here for Beautiful it. Women. Boy. Beautiful, talented. Beautiful women. Beautiful, talented, and also thick. <laughs> for, for, for too long, y'all have been trying to, you know, you hide, they hide a woman's curves or they, you know, they don't, they're afraid to put a woman, a woman with bigger breasts on the screen, a woman with wider hips. And uh, I really think we have uh, Miss Incredible to thank for that from the, the Incredibles. I, I think she, she, she broke the barrier oh, on it. Oh, on, uh, on Pixar? The hips don't lie. Pixar. Yeah, I think Pixar, Pixar helped all, us out. All I think, Pixar, hey, Pixar moms like that. that. <laughs> all them animated moms are like that. It's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, they, 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 hey, it's it's some brothers drawing them characters. I see what the hell you <laughs> They know we, how to see the audience. We see dog. Right. But yeah, man, these are the, the best thing about these these characters are, especially Monica and um Darcy, they're just really delightful on the screen, right? Right. Like it's more than just a physical beauty, it's not a beauty thing, it's an it's an energy. Yeah. Um, it's a, a chemistry and uh it's just real it's real good to see man the way the way marvel's really developing talent and they're sticking to their guns in regards to like the diversity and inclusion when it comes to dealing with, the, with women and minorities right. because you know in this day and age it's also very it's easy to get scared yeah. off by like internet chatter and like the loudest people in the room right it's like marvel marvel heard people complain about miss marvel and like female empowerment movies and was like watch this wow we're gonna do it again and right. i think that's impressive and i think that's the only way to handle it like you just gotta let people know this is what we're doing and right. you don't have to like it but you know right yeah and uh, the way they do it it's well Ever since that whole end game debacle when all the women just showed up and decided to protect Peter Parker and it was that <laughs> that still moment like, oh hey, we're women, we can do stuff too. It's like come yeah, on. Yeah. Don't that was a little cheesy. So they they yeah. they 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 they've gotten better. They've gotten yeah. and that's why I say that you can't get scared because everybody thought that was corny. Yeah. And it would have been real easy to be like, oh my God, like we shouldn't do that. Oh my God, that's too woke or whatever. But right. instead, they doubled down, and right. they doubled down and also got better at it. Right. Because it was kind of pandering, right? It was right. like the you know she's not alone stuff like that. Like mm, we yeah. get it, guys. But it's a little yeah. heavy handed. But they 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 got better. They you know yeah, it, it, it just, door, it you know split in nice and normal is it seemed normal like it should be. It's not like it you're forcing normal. it. It seemed normal like. So I know there's a little controversy going on with someone from Mandalorian, but on the last episode, Gina. It, it was it was all yeah. women, you know. It was female empowerment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it wasn't all anything forced. It was just no, it yep. just happened to be white, the right people at the right time, and they happened to be all women. It was not. There you go. It was perfectly done. No cheeky lines. No yeah. force. Like, look at all these women being strong. Like, right. none of yeah. that. It was like, hey, no, look at these people being strong, and they are women. You know, it was it was good to see. After yeah, that end game thing was bad. So yeah, that was that was corny. But yeah. I also commend them for sticking to it. Yeah. Just being just just executed better. That's the main. Yeah. And that's the and look. By the way, I feel that way about anything. Anytime we're talking about any sort of theme of any movie 
I feel like as long as it's properly executed, nobody cares, right? That's right. that's 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 the main thing. But you when you when you when you're being so heavy handed about your concepts, yeah, it's like it's like it's, you know, like I tell I, I tell this joke all the time on Netflix. You know, I watched that uh, that movie about gentrification and the vampires in in, in Bronx or whatever. Like dog, it was what? way too on the nose. Wait, the, the vamp, vampires versus the Bronx. The Bronx was, as in New York? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> so okay, so here's oh, so, okay. So pretty pretty much, pretty much what it is, it was supposed to, it was tackling the subject of gentrification right. in urban areas. You know, white people with money moving in, taking over, you know black areas of you know latino spaces you know what i'm saying in neighborhoods right. pushing out the poor people to bring in you know your muffin cafes and all that kind of stuff but it was just poorly executed everything yeah. was really heavy-handed right. you know i had a friend of mine reminded me you know it was for kids so maybe the kids just kind of needed to be laid bare like that i guess i hope that's what it was it was like you know what we're going to try to make this something that kids can understand maybe but Oof, boy, it was so on the nose. Like white, yeah. pasty, literal vampires buy, buying up property and <laughs> yeah, quite literally killing my, the community. I think I might, I don't think that's going on my list on that. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, yeah, I don't think that's going to get recommended for me. You know? No, um, I, yeah. I wouldn't blame you. I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I, I don't know the end credit scene. I'm glad they yeah. got end credit scenes again. But yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't really know. I didn't know what that was. Yeah. Uh, so it's, yeah, I, I might have to go back and watch it. I don't know. Yeah. If yeah. Agatha's still controlling Pete or yeah. Is, is it Pete? So for now, I'm thinking about it. You think that that was her the whole time? That wasn't actually Pete, like when. Well, it looks like it because if when you go back and look at that 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 that, that, that cut scene of it was Agatha all along. When yeah. they show Pete, they show like behind him he has that purple, yeah, that, that yeah. purple aura about him. So potentially, so maybe, maybe Wanda was right. You're not Pete, like, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. well, who the hell are you? Right, and um, yeah, it, it's weird. So I don't know where they're gonna go with it. Is it just a coincidence that it happened to be the Fox Quicksilver uh, looking kind of guy? It's not actually any relations. Um, it's weird. I like that guy better, by the way. What's that? I like that PH better, by the way. Oh, yeah. For one, he. That one. That, 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 that he's a. <laughs> right, I, <laughs> <laughs> For one, he's alive. Oh, my he's, God. I was so disappointed in the Quicksilver and Adria. First of all, yeah. Adria yeah. Ultron. I'd rather watch yeah. Thor three than Age of Ultron. Man, it, it was man. It was it was man. It was, yeah, it was man. With a, it was man. Oh man, it, it was yeah. so disappointing. Especially uh, like we, it gave us vision, so I'm happy about that. Right. And they they wasted. Thing about it is, it was it was man, and it wasn't Ultron's fault. Like right. James Spader was great. Like that voice and everything. Like that yeah. was perfect for what Ultron is and was supposed to be. But it was something I read some stories about the production issues in the movie. I think they changed directors. It was it was it showed on the screen that it was it was a little off. Yeah, it, like, my main, you know, Quicksilver, he had on like a you know, under armor, light blue gear. <laughs> uh I don't know what the I don't I don't fucking know what he was wearing, man, but it was right. strange. Uh I mean there were parts about it that I like, like uh Hulk versus um Iron Man was, was mm, okay. Um, yep, the Veronica gear. It, it set up for Civil War because it put in Tony's head that oh no, we we you know it it put that seed in it that I don't want all my friends to die. We need to set up something else. Yep, yep, um, yep. It gave us vision. Uh, the Mind vision. Stone was revealed. Exactly. Um, you know things like that. I I still don't want to believe that Ultron is completely gone. Like, Me neither. He's such a great villain. Yeah, I mean, I know Vision cut him off on the internet at some point, but I mean, like, he couldn't have downloaded himself on an external hard drive somewhere and stashed it. Oh, You're like the smartest being in the world. You can't back yourself up, son. Come on now. Right. It's yeah. like, 
Yeah, so I'm a hoping he might come back because Ultron be- plays a much bigger role than a two and a half hour long movie. Absolutely, absolutely. But yeah, James Spader was great. The voice acting was great. Um, Captain America realized he could lift the hammer, but didn't, according to uh, the people at Marvel. Uh huh. Yep. He realized he could do it, but he didn't want to hurt Thor's feelings. So super he polite dude. Okay, super that's what polite. Captain America is. Super <laughs> right. <laughs> so. It gave us some good moments, but I, yeah, overall, I, I thought it was disappointed. We introduced us to a new character and then killed him off. Like, yeah, and then it was a robot with daddy issues. It's like, oh no, well, you, know, it, you know, they, they they struck her, played a role. Um, yeah. what's the guy's name? The, the South African, um, the one that loves oh, Wakanda, Claw? Claw. He's always yeah, filling that check. They introduced Claw, they did some good things in Asia Ultra, it set us up going forward. It yeah. was just, it should have been better. Yeah. And and I, I did had that, I had that question for you, because you mentioned Ultron, he should be back because I mean he's like a major part of the comics. And I think that's part of the, like the villain problem in general when we talk about movies, right? Because in a movie, people like resolution in movies. I mean, I I've never cared, right? I just keep the story going if you can, if it makes sense. Right. Um they do need to start because that was the issue with you know it's saying it's the same thing with uh black panther uh his nemesis killmonger it's the same thing with killmonger yeah killmonger is a big part of black panther like you don't just you don't fight killmonger one time and he dies and he goes away you right. know what i'm saying like he's a constant yeah. foil to what they're trying to do in wakanda same thing with ultron you know yeah. what i'm saying you know what i'm saying yeah. so i am interested to see is Marvel gonna recycle some of the villains? Right. Are they gonna recycle some of the, you know what I'm saying? Some of the, cause some of these characters are huge characters, man. Ultron, right. I mean, like he's, like you say, he's a constant in the Marvel universe. Right. So we can't just use him once and forget him, right? So maybe going forward, we don't always kill the villain. Maybe going forward, some like, like that's what's so great about Civil War because it was like, damn. Damn dog, like damn, y'all really broke up. Shit, right? Nope, y'all oh, not gonna hug and make up. Still yeah, like so great. Yeah, like the end of it was heartbreaking because it was like y'all not gonna kiss and make up and be friends. So for the next movie, the only Marvel movie to make me t- look when Tony died. All right, when y- when Yondu got shipped off in space, okay. Hey, hey, Wait. Yondu dying was <laughs> fucking heartbreaking. Okay, man, Yondu dying like, was heartbreaking. Like kids getting them killed. Listen, in that moment, he didn't know. All right, he didn't know he was dying. Right. He didn't know he was killing him. Look. Listen, when y- every time y'all do looks at him, looks at Peter and goes, "Uh, he may have been your father, boy, but he was never your daddy." I tear up, bro. I, I can't. Just, I can't. Once was Peter was realizes what's happening, I'm like, "Oh shit!" Right. I can't. Watch. I right. can't watch. And then he gets a close of a gourd. I'm like, oh Jesus, boy, this is this is tough. Yandu died. My man Merle. Hey, my man Merle made a career of being Merle. <laughs> right, yeah. Right? He's just playing himself. Fucking Merle uh, in space. Himself, except this time you're gonna be in blue paint. Cool. Got Michael, it. Michael Rucker made a career of being one dude in all the movies. This time I'm Merle in space with a red mohawk, son. I'm this guy. <laughs> It right. was it was like Mer- it was like Merle and Daryl all over again. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it right. was it's so funny, bro. Hey, shout out to Michael Rucker. Uh, I, I somebody come find me so I can be myself in every goddamn movie. What are we doing over here? Shit. Kind of like Bill Burr. He's himself in everything he's in. He just just play yourself. Yeah. Be yeah. yourself. All right, got it. Bruh. But um, but yeah. So in Civil War, on part when Tony sees that video. Of old boy killing his mom and dad, mainly his mom. Yeah, yeah. And Captain America was like, "Oh shit." Uh. And then Tony is like, "Did you know? You should have lied, dog." Captain America Hell lied no. to him at first. He's like, "I ain't know." He's like, "Don't you bullshit me? Did you know, bro? Did you know? My eyes, yeah. I like no Captain America. <laughs> my boy, red, white, and blue." Oh, uh, I knew, but I didn't know it was him. He didn't. I was like, oh. Cap, hey, Cap, hey, listen. The rule of thumb is when you tell a lie, damn it, ride that lie to the cows come home, son. Don't tell the truth now. 
Shit, right. hell no, I ain't know. Why, why did you do that? <laughs> like, dude, dude, oh, my God. Oh, bro, I ain't know. Nah, hey, I ain't hey, know. hey, listen. Oh, my stars. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Tony, your parents. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm not telling them, B. Like, hey. <laughs> And at that point, they turn around and jump Bucky like a couple of hood motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the alternate ending. That should have been the alternate ending, bro. <laughs> hey, the alternate ending should have been Captain America looking over at Bucky like, I can't believe you. And then they jump. They, instead, of, <laughs> instead of Iron Man getting jumped, they jump Buck, bro. Oh, that's man. That's been the best way to do this. Yeah, that would have been a... That could be a what if ending. Nah, I was about to say that. That's an episode of what if. <laughs> hey, that's what if, right? I want to see that ending on, on what if. Right. Somebody put that on tape for me. I need to see it. Yeah, I need to know when uh, what if coming out. There's a lot of things now I, I want to see. I believe it's third in the sheet. So I believe it's after Falcon and Winter Soldier. And yeah. that come out next month, right? They come out fucking real soon. Yeah. Ooh, that's good because still. I think the next, the little, next little week after one. WandaVision, I believe. Yeah, I'm. I'm I'm ready for that, man. I'm not really, I'm not a big fan of the actor who plays Falcon, but. Yeah, I don't like him because he's a New Orleans fan. What's that? Oh. <laughs> he's a Saints fan, and I don't like him. Ah, it was Agatha. Don't, yeah, it was Agatha the whole time. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, maybe be more action packed from the beginning. Uh, yeah. You, you didn't doubt. Marvel in the first two episodes of I never died. I did. I never, yeah, I, I, I sent my yes. letter apologizing. You'd be embarrassed. I told y'all, hold on. I told y'all, like, hold on, man. I promise you, this is not the plan. Like, man, I was like, this can't be real. And you know, <laughs> stuck with it. And then th- episode three, I was like, okay. So I, I called them all up, John, Josh. I went Stanley Grave and said, I'm sorry. I'm Excelsior sorry for all, that. all of y'all. I ain't doubting you ever again. Yeah, so, Kevin. Hey, did you email Kevin Feige? You should have emailed I Kevin. Did. Kevin, I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't have no faith in you. I, I let myself that. go straight to spam, though. And, and you totally redeemed yourself. Yeah. So it's uh. So I got I got a question to ask. You. I got a yeah. question. Now, just switching gears a little bit from Marvel. Are you gonna watch this next fucking Justice League movie? Eventually. Was Did you watch the first one? Justice League movie? I watched the first Justice League movie when I realized I had HBO Max for free. <laughs> oh, shit, I got it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, okay. I think it's on there, and I think I watched it on there. Yeah. But I paused it a lot because it wasn't that important. I Look, I don't know. It's just, it's it just sucks. a DC movie. It just, just didn't... They fucking there were suck. good parts, but the way the flash runs, like he's like that on the screen. I'm like, what's going on here? Superman coming back to life. I'm like, all right. Hey, my, my main man Ben Affleck, he snatched defeat from the jaws of victory now three times in one career. <laughs> like, it now how many times? Dude, can you not see a bad role when you like? Do you not know a bad role when you see one, son? Like, you know, every time he's like, he'll he'll make a comeback, and he'll make a comeback, and then he'll do G League or some crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he'll make a comeback. He'll make a comeback. I'm Batman. Like, bro, that's a bad idea. When it happened, I was like, hmm, that's not gonna be good. Like, that's 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 not that's not gonna work. And I mean, from the start, the Batman Superman thing, that whole thing, man, it just. Is. A hot mess, bro. DC's Talk been a out. hot mess. Talk yeah, the, the, the DC universe has been a hot mess, bro. Like, I'm like, I think Henry Cavill has been the best Superman, but he's been the worst used. Like, yeah, he only has one standalone movie. It's so crazy, dog. Because he's a, he like, can act, he can act. Yeah. Like, you know, I, yeah, you I see just, him in The Witcher. Like, dude's a good I, actor. I just, I think they tried to go darker and grittier than Marvel. And it just fell flat. It just don't work. Like these, these, these Wonder Woman movies. The first one, eh, pretty good. The second one, I hadn't seen it because I just hadn't been interested. Oh. They just don't land with me. The second Wonder Woman, the Wonder Woman 1984, it just it doesn't connect. And I, I can't like any of them. Superman, 
the Batmans. Like, I'm not invested in any of these characters. When they make Jason Momoa fucking, you know, uh, what's his name? Aquaman. Aquaman. And it's like, you know what? That dude looks perfect for the role. So I get why, like, mean lords and Twitter heads would, like, <laughs> make, you know how they do that. They always, you know, people on Twitter, they always find, like, the perfect people to play these roles. Yeah. And Photoshop them. Yeah. It looks good in Photoshop. Jason Momoa can't act. It's the reason he was the perfect Cal Drago because he grunted and fucking snorted all day. He didn't have to really talk. He's I a think, big physical presence, a big good looking right. dude, but he can't act. I think he would have played a good Lobo. I think he would have done great as a Lobo in the DC. Yeah, universe. yeah. But I mean, uh, Aquaman, I, I didn't really have a big problem with it. Wonder Woman, the first movie, I, I didn't really like. It's just the DC, for one, only thing dark about the DC movies is the filter they put on all the movies. Yes, that was, it's literally dark. Yes, yeah, literally it. dark. Like, like, like I, I don't get this, oh, this movie, the Joker was dark, you know? Yeah, but, with, but that's, uh, the, that's not DC, though. Right. That's not, I don't think that, I don't think that, that, that studio made that movie. I think that's a separate studio. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, like, Wonder Woman 1984, man, it, I was so confused watching that movie. It, it there had to have been like three different directors making three different movies, and then movies. they just put it all yeah. together. Yeah, it started off a flashback. I don't know why they keep going to uh, Diana's past. Like I, I get it, yeah. you were a kid at one point, most people were. And yeah. then like, the whole there's a mall scene that's extremely campy. I thought, okay, it's gonna be campy like a 1984 movie. Maybe yeah. that's then they completely changed that. The first mm-hmm. hour and a half, first 45 minutes of the movie, toss it out. You don't need it. Yeah. It, that, it yeah. all be summed up in like three minutes. But after that, I thought the movie got real good. And then Cheetah showed up. And I was like, oh, that's right. This is a DC movie. And this is stupid. <laughs> but I, I like Max Lord. I like the, the powers he had. And it seemed like a relatable if some guy who wanted to be successful suddenly got powers i think they would jack it up like he did but yeah. like all this happened like, like donald trump was that hmm? huh what you say you didn't see the movie no i said something else but let's move on no i didn't see the movie. okay i'm, I gonna, didn't see I'm gonna play that back <laughs> um, so at one I didn't point, see the movie. I didn't see like, the movie. World War III is about to happen. There's like hundreds of nukes in the air. All everything's about to go to shit. And then it just all disappears. And I'm like, no one remembers that. And like, no, no one remembers that Russia, the USA, all these Middle Eastern company uh countries, and everybody was shooting nukes at each other. It's like, I don't know, I don't get it. I, I don't get how the movie ended and People just don't remember that in 1984, everybody almost fucking died because the world almost blew up. Maybe it's one of them DC plot holes like in Dark Knight Rises or something. I don't know. I don't get it. But yeah, I got you. Yeah, I, I, I'm just not even in the DC, bro. I'm just not. I want to be. Like, People were excited about the the Snyder cuts being released on HBO Max, and I'm just like, I just they they just they just lost me. After right. Superman and Batman, I was like, man, you, I just, it didn't land. Yeah. And then, and then you keep swinging and missing. And like you say, that dark ass filter, whatever that fucking, whatever that filter is they use over all, 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 over all the, like the overlays, all the movies. It's like, dude, it makes it hard to kind of see that stupid ass Lex Luthor kid, Jesse Eisenberg. Oh, man. And now you're bringing in Bane out of nowhere. Not Bane, I'm sorry, Dark Side. Dude, Dark Side's the Thanos of that universe. Are you just going to bring him in like it's nothing? And like, there's no build up. There's no like, what is this? Like, what are we seeing here? I think I seen the one clip. I think the, uh, Elizabeth Warren. He's he. She's a part of the Dark Side crew. You know, they introduce the Dark Side crew. The old lady back there, his gray hair look like Elizabeth Warren. Is, oh, is she... that that uh, that might be uh, Grandma. Grandma. Okay. See. Yeah. See, so I, Dark Side. So he, not... he got a not dark. Not um. I don't forget. Is the name Dark Side? Yeah. Dark side, Dark side yeah. apocalypse. Uh, he's got a whole crew of uh enforcers, and grandma's one of them, an old lady. Uh, she's like the uh, she raises the kids basically and disciplines them. 
Okay. And, uh, she's 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 a bitch. I I, I, <laughs> I need to watch the trailer, man, because there's there's nothing. I'm either going to see it or I'm not. Like a new not, yeah. not going to make me want to see it more. Like four yeah. four hours of this now. I don't know what it says about me, but I'm more excited to watch the Mortal Kombat remake, which I know is going to be shitty ahead of this you know movie. What? I thought it was going to be shitty, but I didn't really pay attention to the trailer. Then I went back and watched the trailer. And they're introducing a new character. Yeah, it replaced Johnny Cage. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Mm, and yeah. So I thought it was they're introducing everybody for the first time, like the the first Mortal Kombat did. Hey, Luke Kang, you're destined to do whatever. But it was yeah. like that's already been established. It's already been established. Yeah. Yeah, is is uh, coming in. So yeah. if that's the case, it would make more sense to me. But it looks like there's a lot going on. Jax whole yeah. history and yep. there's a pre-scorpion uh before he became scorpion and when he made the spear for the first time you know so i'm interested in how it's gonna turn out um but yeah when i first saw the trailer i wasn't i wasn't about it but i'm i'm excited <laughs> yeah. no doubt man but uh hey bro it's uh it's a pleasure talking to you yep same so, uh, we're wrap- hey, it's time to wrap this thing up man um that's it for episode two, guys. Uh, hang with us. One adjustment that I think me and you both agreed on that we're going to make going forward. Um, when we're talking about WandaVision or, or even Falcon and Winter Soldier, we're going to watch these. We're going to we're going to watch the show in real time and we're going to record that same day. Right. That way you kind of get a, a more, you know, before before all the excitement and stuff kind of leaves the room and stuff like that. Right. You kind of. Yeah. You, you, you're getting you, you're getting very very fresh reactions from us, right. man. Before Jen Ryan and uh, before we go on Google and start looking up some names and, and stuff. start looking up other spoilers and other things <laughs> going forward, yeah, right. yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, but uh, hang with us, man. We appreciate you guys for being here for episode two. Uh, be looking out for us episode three, um, this Friday. So we got a pretty quick turnaround, man. Yep. So um, hey, man. You guys be easy. Uh, go day. It was good hollering at you, my friend. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Peace. Yep. Y'all take care.